Hi everyone, back again, another video, you know the drill. Um, so yesterday I answered a um, free cycle advert um, and on it it said five boxes of cassettes and I didn't necessarily think that I would get them, but I did! So we've got five shoebox size cassettes shoebox size boxes or six, five of cassettes and it looks like they're all I would say late 80s early 90s possibly but I thought I'd do a live unboxing I've seen obviously some of them um, just because I've been unloading them but I haven't actually been through everything yet and I thought let's do another one of these free cycle live unboxings why not so I'm going to start off First tape, now I haven't, obviously I haven't listened to them because I picked these up about approximately mm, three hours ago. Um, so we're going to go through them. I don't know whether, they look pretty good, Nick. Um, we'll just go through them and then I can sort of do an update maybe later and say, oh, they're all ter terrible quality. <laughs> but we'll see. So first up, we've got Deepest Purple. The very best of Deep Purple, so that's one. And got a copy of now I reckon this is quite not that common. Uh, it's a bit the paint's got a bit squashed, but we have a copy of Acton Baby. Maybe if I hold them there. There's a copy of Acton Baby. Uh, we've got Fleetwood Max Greatest Hits. I think I have that on all three formats now. We've got a very best of Deep Purple. So I think maybe that's a different, mostly different track listing. We have got Queen's Greatest Hits 2 on tape. We have got the best rock album in the world ever. I think I've already got a copy of this. It's quite good. Um, we'll see. Right, what we got here? We've got a copy of Hotel California. I think I've already got a copy of this on tape. Um, but we'll see which one's a better copy. Absolutely filthy cassette. What we've got Voodoo Lounge on cassette, which is quite nice. I'll be rehousing that in another. Um, I don't know what to do about Well, Anyway, that will go into another case definitely we've got Jeff Healy band we've got see the light Whoa. well there I go I did have Jeff Healy band um, let's just quickly put that back together right we've got Jeff Healy band see the light we've got Jeff Healy band hell to pay that's quite nice. Got a couple of Jeff Healy bands. Okay. Um, I'm showing everything because obviously some of these are not my bag, but uh, we've got a Simply Red. What is it? I seem to get, always get bloody Simply Red in these things. We've got Rock Set Look Sharp. Right, what we got here? That's no good. That's no good. We've got Tasmin Archer, Great Expectations, with Sleeping Satellite on it, which is pretty good. We've got Dire Straits on Every Street, with Associated Fluff, which is quite nice. We've got... Ooh, that's quite nice. Kevin Ayres, The Confessions of Dr. Dream. That'll be a good... I hope that's in decent condition on Ireland. That must be... Yeah, that's quite an old tape, that one. I think that's an original copy of that. We have got a copy of Definitely Maybe. I reckon that might be worth something. I'll have to check that out on Discogs. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Obviously, I've got a lot of this stuff on on vinyl or, C or CD. I don't have it on tape. We've got a copy of uh, Appetite for Destruction with the uh, reissue cover. We have the Cranberries, Bury the Hatchet. Should check that 
yeah, that's in there. We've got Top Gear 2. 36 classic driving tracks. It's alright. I don't mind a pulp and compression like that. Uh, head cleaner. That's a load of rubbish. We've got Stilt Skin, the Mind's Eye, which has got. Was it inside was the number one? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? I wouldn't mind actually giving that a listen. Um, and see what, you know, it's obviously grand rip off stuff, but still could be interesting. Chris Rear, The Road to Hell. I've got loads of Chris Rear. We've got Commodore's Night Shift. I actually have that on vinyl. I don't know if I've actually shown it. We've got Stranger's Greatest Hits, which I think I've got another copy of. We've got and I hope this is in decent nick. Just straighten it out the inlay. I'm just gonna do that on camera, obviously. Slashy Snake Pit, which I don't think I've ever heard all the way through, so that's quite nice. Um I don't know all these over here. Oh I've got too many anyway. Uh what's this one? We've got the game by Queen. We've got Whitney doing with Whitney's debut album, not one I'd probably be keeping. All that one? I don't know what these are worth. We've got Tom Petty, Full Moon Fever, which I am quite happy again. That's brilliant. I'm really happy I got that one. We have Robert Palmer, Riptide. This is top notch, late 80s. Oh, we've got Dirty work without the, by the stones, without the tape. I wanted to tape somewhere else. We'll see. We've got Jean Chaujar in concert, Houston Leon. That's quite good. We have, ah, uh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Damn Phant Phantasmagoria, which is probably the most gothy album um, with Grimly Fiendish and Is It a Dream? Shadow of Love on there. Really good stuff. We have, what's this? Oh, look. We've got Gary Moore with After Hours. I'm really, it's quite nice I've got that because I, I, I don't really know Gary Moore's solo stuff at all. I mean, I've, I've heard that some of his older stuff, well, his later stuff, really blues based stuff, is really good. So that's a good chance. Have a look. And then we've got Thank You by. Whoa, I'm throwing them around, I'm juggling with them. So we've got Thank You by uh, Duran Duran, which has, actually some of this is really good. Obviously their version of 9-11 as a joke is a bit, mm, White Lines is a bit, mm, but I really like I Want to Take You Higher and Perfect Day. Um, thank you. Crystal Ship is, very, is not bad either, so that's quite, I'm quite happy with that. Um, Tom Petty's Greatest Hits. Oh, 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 I am very happy I finally got a copy of one of these. So we've got Main Offender by Keith Richard. Keith Richard, sorry. Um, one of his solo albums. I think there's two of them, isn't there? Was there two of them? But I've been wanting to get at least any copy of, of this. I'm well happy with that. In Excess's Greatest Hits. Early Brian Adams, Cuts Like a Knife. That's all right. I think I've already got a copy of this, but Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Oh, oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Copy of the Black Album. Can you see the snake in the corner? There you go. Copy of the Black Album there. How else have we got in here? JJ Kale, naturally. Oh my word, we've got all kinds in here. What's this? More American Graffiti. Original motion picture soundtrack. Was there a follow up to it? I didn't know that existed. I'm looking at the track list, it looks like slightly later. Maybe it's sort of. 
96 tears on here. Strange brews on here. Maybe it's like Vietnam and 60s. Okay. We've got, wow, copy, take copy of that. We've got the Dandy Warhols come on down, or come down. That is a brilliant album. And that's a, I didn't, yeah, wow, that's cool. Um, Jethro Tull, Benefit. We've got Grey Slick software. I really don't know what that'll be like, but it'll be an interesting listen. That's a, that's a, that's a pre record. That's a re record. No, I'm not interested in that one. We've got, I don't know, I presume. Yep. We've got Mick Jagger with She's a Boss. This has got just another night on it. I'm well happy with that. And I'll have to get a new case on that clear one. What else we got? Aerosmith, Rocks. We've got, this is going to be never ending, we've got v 52s Good Stuff. We've got Don't Fear the Reaper, Blue Oyster Cult, which is a cassette single. Look at that, we've got a cassette single. This, these are, these are, Bizarre things these were having cassette singles. I never really understood them. We've got In Excess and Kick. Which I've, I've just been listening to Live Baby Live in the car. So that'll be quite nice to play that one again. We've got Adrenalize by Def Leppard. And we've got Clapton, Backtracking. And that, oh no, I'm not finished yet. Oh no, yes we are. And that is just the first box. I mean, that is ludicrous. Oh, my life. Right, okay. So that was pretty good so far. Right, right. We're going to box number two. And I, when I got these, I thought, hmm, this could be all pre, you know, personally recorded stuff, like just uh, home recordings. But no, these are proper tapes. This is incredible. Right, box two. Here we go. Right. At the moment, I am absolutely amazed by what, what I've picked up here. It's like, whoa. So, box two. Right. Jimmy Page and Robert Plant, no quarter. Well, that's pretty good to start box two. Right, that one's there. Simple Minds, good news from the next world. Get that out of that. I've got spare cassette boxes, so that will come out. What's this? Is this an album? Right, we've got another cassette single. Stunk and Nancy, Hedonism. Uh, got a copy of Nevermind. Nice to have that on tape. I think I've got the Trinity now. I've got CD, cassette, and album. In fact, I've got... I just had it out with the album. Anyway. We've got, includes, we've got The Beast of Alice Cooper. Is that a compilation? Yep, Beast of Alice, Alice Cooper. Compilation. We've got Queen's A Kind of Magic. We've got Eric, Cra Eric Clapton from The Cradle. Which, is that? yeah, it looks like it's a blue, one of his blues album says that might be worth listening right we've got the spaghetti incident by by guns and roses we have every breath you take best of the police we've got bonnie Raitt with nick of time i quite like bonnie Raitt. i'm beginning to really like her early stuff's better but oh we've got a copy of the works we've I'm going to definitely wash my hands after these. I've been through these. Best of Chris Rear. <coughs> oh, one of the best. Oh, this is great. I don't. I, I want this on vinyl, but to get this on tape as well is fantastic. Southern Harmony and Musical Companion. I love this album. This is fantastic. There is some top notch stuff here. Absolutely amazing stuff. We've got Perfect Strangers by Purple. I've never heard. We've got Prince, the hits two. 
we've got Fleetwood Mac scratches here. So that's the early Fleetwood Mac with like Oh Well and uh, Rattlesnake Shake and all that kind of stuff. Green Man and Mishy. We've got Changes Bowie. Never going to turn down a Bowie tape. We've got Queen the Works. Not the Works, what are they talking about? The Miracle by Queen. So there's another Queen album. Um, is this double play? What's this? I'm not sure if this might be a double play sit out. Oh, so we've got Pink Floyd The Wall. Monster by R.E.M. Really underrated that is. I love that album. Right. Is that the second one? Dire Straits on every street? Is that two copies of that now? I'm not know. All I know is this is ludicrous. Brian Adams, 18 till I die. Which I think... I think it hasn't got that, that song on it, has it? It's when he went a bit... Uh, early Brian Adams is good. Later. Mm, okay, and here we go, Waking Up The Neighbours. And that has got that song on it. So, um, yeah. We've got Fleetwood Mac, Tango In The Night. I actually really like that era, Mac. I know not everybody does, but I do. Rock City Nights which I've got on CD, I think. Huh. We've got Tonight by Bowie. I think that's, everybody who watches this channel knows exactly what I think of uh, that album, but I'm not going to turn down the cassette copy of it. Eurythmics, Touch Dance. I don't... I think that's the first time I've ever had that. So this is... Um, that's a compilation of 12-inch mixes and instrumental mixes from uh, Touch. So I'm dead chuffed. I don't think I've even got that on CD. That's fantastic. Well, there had to be some of this this lot. We Can't Dance. Wish he wouldn't play. Right, what else we got? Heart, Bad Animals. That's pretty cool. You're gonna hear these stacks go crashing in a minute. It's gonna be a nightmare. Right, I'm sure, I think I might have another copy of this. New Adventures in, in fact, on tape as well. New Adventures in Hi-Fi by R.E.M. Uh, ooh. Ah, this is a really under, I think this is a really underrated Stones album. I love this. I've got this on vinyl. So this is uh, Undercover with brilliant, brilliant Undercover of the Night single by the Stones. Right, go there. I don't know what this is, sort of Eric Clapton, John Mayo split tape. I don't know where that's coming from. It looks like a bootleg. Stones Bridges to Babylon on tape. That's quite nice, isn't it? Uh, Guns N' Roses Sympathy for the Devil cassette single. Mm, Mark Knopfler, Golden Heart. That, yeah, give that a listen. This is exhausting. I bet you're absolutely bored. Robert Cray, Strong Persuader, that is a great album. Really good. Smoking Gun is such a good song. Um, there's some really good stuff on there. That is a great album. What else we got? Stuck bits of tape. Spin Doctors, Pocket Full of Kryptonite. I've actually wanted to get, because I've had um, two princes knocking about my head for a while, so I'm absolutely quite glad that I've got a version, got a copy of that. Splendid. Uh, who's next on tape? One of the that's a brilliant album. Um, let's just yeah, that's all right. Is that the one? Yeah. It's nice. It seems most of these are actually in the right boxes. Idol songs, Billy Idol. Right. That's all oh, and. The Blues Revival. Now this is going to have to be cleaned up. That's filthy, but that's John Lee Hooker, Muddy Waters, Lau Fulson, Howling Wolf, and many others. Blues tape there. That's filthy though. Makes my ugh. right. Okay, we're halfway done. That's halfway. Um, that's nuts. That is really nuts. 
there's so much good stuff here that I'm going to definitely be keeping. Um, some grotty boxes that I'm going to be getting rid of. But we're halfway. And I'm, there's more here. Look at uh, another tray full here. 